Hi guys, it's Jamila here from Slap. Today I'm going to be doing a video on the not so new, but the newest Pat McGrath eyeshadow palette. This is the Mothership 7 Divine Rose. I felt like because I have the Mothership 5 and the Mothership 6, I felt weird not getting this one. It just... It's been playing on my mind for a long time. I obviously have nothing better to do. And yeah, it's just been kind of taunting me from afar. She released it as a limited edition palette and then it disappeared and then it came back and then it disappeared and then it came back and then it disappeared. And I just kept watching it come back and disappear and just thinking, it's too light for me. It's not gonna work for me. I kept looking at swatches and it looked pretty good on the deeper skin tone. So I felt like it needed to happen. And I'm very happy that I got it. I haven't tried any swatches of it yet because I wanted to do my first impressions on here. But I got this on the Selfridges website. You can get it from Pat McGrath. It says it's coming soon, so I'm sure it will be back. At the moment, she's doing a VIP sale. I think after that sale's done, she will do, she will drop this again. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please subscribe. We would love to have you in the Slap family. I'm trying to get us to a thousand subscribers. <laughs> We're currently on 305. I'm extremely happy about this. I remember the days when I started off with like 20 and I was like one day I'll get a hundred and now I've got 300 so this is great so I'm just gonna keep going so if you haven't subscribed already guys please subscribe it'll be a huge huge help hopefully you'll like this video hopefully you watch this video I know I'm super late in the game like I know this is months old this has been out for ages but it is very sunny outside even though we can't go outside so I felt like it was a perfect time to try and do a spring makeup look with the Pat McGrath Mothership 7 Divine Rose palette so the eyeshadow palette comes, as all Pat McGrath eyeshadow palettes do, comes in like a nice cardboard booklet, and it comes with the kind of pulley toggle system that she always has, and it's like a book, and you open it. This is the artwork for Mothership 7. Every different Mothership has different artwork. This one's the most uplifting. Some of them can be quite intense and quite like, somber this one's not as somber as the others and inside as always you have the shade names so i'm very excited to try this it is absolutely beautiful it just looks so spring so summery like this shadow here it's just like sunset it's beautiful you might spot a few grays this is quarantine life i and they're just spurting out and coming out so sorry in advance this gorgeous little beauty here oh it feels very soft a light mink if mink's a color i feel like it is next is this deep chocolate these are these four here these are the sparkly ones here so i'm going to try and use as many of them as i can so i'm going to start with this movish one don't know why it's going to come up very close to you so as always, it is quite kickbacky. But I do want this to look quite spring-like. So I really like this colour already. I really didn't think I would like it, this one here. I thought it would look too dusty, but it actually looks really cool. It's kind of got like a lilac-y tinge to it. Next, I'm going to use this one here. And just to kind of give it a bit more richness, I'm going to use this deep, deep brown on the corner. It's just giving it a lot more richness. So that's it so far. I really like this kind of mauvey purple. I don't normally go for these kind of shades, but I feel like it looks pretty cool. And um, just to give it a bit of sparkle, I'm going to use this topper here. And with her toppers, you just use your fingers. It's always the best way. So just for the inner corner, I'm going to go in with a bit of this. It's quite pink. I'm just going to try and cool it down slightly with this shade here. I'm just going to do a slight twist on this 
eye just to try out some of the other colors I'm going to use this as a base this brown and then I'm gonna go into the pink region here Next, I'm going to go in with this pink one here. It's quite bold. It's got like a really rich pigment behind it, but it's still quite soft. Next, I'm going to use the Sunset Shade, which is this one. My favourite. And then I'm gonna go in with the gold and I'm gonna use that one more over the lid. I want to pinkify it again. For my inner corner, I think I'm gonna go with the gold. Maybe a little bit of the sunset one as well. the entire palette on my eyes so guys that is my finished look I'm really impressed with this eyeshadow palette as you can see I'm grinning at myself which is weird I really like this lilac -y side I wasn't expecting to like those mauvey shades as much as I did but I do really like them I really liked all of the kind of shiny shades that I put in my inner corner and I really like that pink as well so I think it's a really really good palette I'm really glad I got it I know I pretty much say that all the time <laughs> I feel like this is a perfect spring summer palette it's a lot richer than it looks on camera and in the palette and just generally there's no wasted shades in here everything kind of complements each other or goes with something in it really really well and I think this came off really nice I definitely think it is a good purchase it is 115 pounds like all of Pat McGrath's eyeshadow palettes they are quite pricey but I find with all of my palettes they're my special palettes and because it is an expensive palette you do treasure it more than you would other palettes I'm really glad I got it I think it's beautiful guys thank you so much for watching if you haven't subscribed already guys please subscribe we would love to have you in the slap family trying to get us to a thousand subscribers thank you guys so much for watching this video if you watch the whole thing give it a big thumbs up if you liked it hopefully you liked it thank you guys so much for watching i hope you like this video and i'll see you on the next one